Hey everyone, I'm Nate. Why'd you say it like that? I don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> and I'm Abby. Well, we're gonna go with it. I guess. And we are the RC Sailors. It's been a while since we've done a review or an official unboxing, so I don't know what I'm doing. But I do know I'm excited about the Dramata Ominous FPV. Uh, I probably say I'm excited about most of the vehicles that we sit down in front of, but I am legitimately very excited for this quadcopter because since we've gotten this, in the meantime, I've become very, very familiar and very fond of the old Dromeda Ominous. And I've become really good at flying the Dromeda Ominous. Right. So we're very fond of this quadcopter and we both really like FPV and the idea of FPV coming to such a popular and well-performing quad. And now I can fly FPV. And I'm so well, excited. Well, I haven't yet. I should be able right. to fly FPV. Can there's a lot possibly. To, there's a lot to talk about in this, but just like the title says, this is our unboxing. We'd like to show you guys what comes in this and give you a quick glance at the Dramada Ominous FPV. And the only way we can do that is to start unboxing it. Let's open. But make sure you subscribe so you can see it full flight in the review and all that good stuff. That's right. Maybe even a challenge video with FPV. We got the yellow ominous because our old one uh, that we started with was yellow and we really wanted to compare apples to apples here mm -hmm. and just let you guys see the major differences in the body design right. and just uh, everything. And I like yellow. Yellow's nice and bright <laughs> in the sky. Okay, take that out. And it comes with the top. This top bit of paper tells you how to insert the micro memory card into the USB card converter. We'll get a close shot there. So we'll just knock that off to the so side. So just some basic info. Right. The quad itself, we'll go ahead and pull that out Very and cool. I will give you closer shots and we'll talk about this in just a second. I'd like to take everything else out of the box. On okay. The quad. Yep, battery's mounted. It's mounted right in between the camera and the quad. Mm -hmm. So and now I see the transmitter on this is very, very different than the is original it? Ominous transmitter. This is like a standard box, uh, 2.4 gigahertz with full functionality. There are four spare props in here. They are different props yeah. than the Dramata Ominous, the regular Ominous. Four AA batteries. For the transmitter. Yep. I like that they're double A's, not triple A's. Makes it truly ready to run when it comes with the transmitter batteries, right. in my opinion. We've got a shadow box in here for your phone or smart device that's just going to cast a shadow if you're flying outside and it's pretty bright you can hook that onto the the arm in here so that why do why we do like this people don't okay, let's i'm flipping it back around the unboxing portion here here's our micro sd that goes in the quadcopter to record or probably in the camera actually let's see yeah, that goes right in the camera. I know you're not. Um, I shoveled snow all day. <laughs> We've got our card converter. It's a USB card converter. I don't know, see that there. Oh, cool. This is a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Did you get that arm out already? I, no. Mm -mm. Oh. This is, I, did, I didn't expect to see this in here, but it's nice that it came with it. There's oh, a bit cool. of spare foam. This goes in between your camera. I would imagine in case you crash your quad extremely hard or just the stickiness wears off over time, you can replace, they've given you a small piece of replacement, nice, very soft foam to help take out jello, uh, which is a vibration effect you get in quadcopters to the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, the foam really helps reduce that a lot, very significantly. This is the charger for the battery that's mm -hmm. included for the quadcopter. So it's a USB charger. USB charger. And ours for the regular Ominous was a, like 30 to 40 minute charge time. It was pretty quick. Yeah. And I believe this is the last piece in here. Let me check under the black box. Under the black box actually is probably some of the best instructions I've ever had with a, an RC vehicle. I love Ramada's basic concept for their instructions. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Unboxing. The what last piece is oh. the arm. I didn't get to show you. It looks pretty nice. This attaches to the transmitter and your smartphone or device snaps into this here. Um, it, it looks like it would only hold a 
very specific sized phone, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, another thing that I want to note because this is an unboxing and we need to tell them everything that does come with it does come with a free app. Um, That's right. For your smartphone. Now it does not come with the smartphone. Yeah. Doesn't come with a smartphone or Apple device or whatever you have to use, um, but it does come with the free app. I just want to show you guys the quadcopter itself and point out some of my initial thoughts and things that I see at a quick first glance in comparison to one of my favorite quads of 2014, the Geominus. The props themselves look like they have a different pitch or a different cut, especially to them. The standard Ominous has a more straight edge on the prop. Uh, if you see they're a bit parallel, they're not parallel, but more parallel than these props. They get thinner as it goes out. Uh, I think the pitch looks different, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's just a, that's just a guess. But clearly the blades are different. The blades are very different. The body itself looks quite a bit different. This has more of like a lightning kind of look to it, and the new it's more FPV. old, modern, uh, sleek look to it. What, which one? This one, the new one. It's more bold, that. I think. They'll, nah, I don't know about that. I, they've put they've put yellow only on the front, as opposed to having yellow patterns on the back. They've got writing there, but on the old design, they did have yellow uh, paint on the back which may have gotten confusing for some people. Maybe that's why they took the yellow off the back and put just the I solid like color it. on the front. I do like this. It's it's growing on me a bit more now that I've got it out of the box, but I'm still, I think I really, I have to fall back on that. <laughs> I do like that they did put the yellow on the nose of the quadcopter though. Mm -hmm. So the, the, it looks awesome. It's got lights built in there and underneath. And I love the lights. I'm, I'm assuming they're the same lights that were in the original. Yeah. And they made it so so much easier to definitely, fly definitely. and Popeye is scratching on the door. <laughs> Jingle potty! While Abby's over there letting the dog out, there are rubber footies on the bottom of this which I absolutely love about the this quadcopter. And the most important aspect of the Dromeda Ominous FPV uh, at all is the fact that it's FPV. So we're going to take a look at the camera which is a branded it's a branded Dromeda camera. It has, uh, looks like you can angle the pitch of the camera itself on the bottom, which is very nice. And- um, Ooh, it, I like that. It's attached and mounted. So if you like the look of having the blades in the camera, so you can tell it's a quad shot, then you could probably angle it up right, high yeah. enough where you could get the blades going in, in the shots, which if you want to show it that it, you know, it is a quadcopter, if you like that look, then that's kind of cool. Yeah. But then if you want a more like sleek professional look, um, then you can angle it down and get the shot of just what you want. And this is a 720p HD video right. camera Should and a still camera. Yeah. You can take still shots and video. Oh, HD guys, that's awesome. Now that's kind of important because we've recently had a very popular quad on our channel, the uh, Proto X FPV, mm -hmm. that does not stay, take still pictures, it, it just does video. So this one does pictures. Really? Really. I didn't even know that. Yep. <laughs> and you can do it right from your transmitter, uh, right here in the back. There is the video on and picture button and video off, so pretty cool. There's the dog again. But um, really, really quickly, I'll, I'll point this out too while she's letting the dog back in. <laughs> the camera has four wires coming out of the back and they plug into a uh, little outlet here on the back of the quad. So it looks like if you prefer, you can buy the more expensive Dromeda Ominous, unplug the camera, take it off uh, from the quad and then fly without the camera. And of course you'll get longer flight times and better performance. Right, but you cannot, buy this camera to put it on the original Dramada Ominous. That's exactly right. Um, that one is not made to carry a camera. This is, to answer everybody's question that owns one of these, the old Dramada Ominous, you cannot upgrade this currently through any way that Dramada offers to make it FPV. There are third-party companies out there and other cameras you can buy to do so, 
but not through Dromeda, and I don't encourage it either. Right, and it could potentially break your quad. Even though that is extremely durable, I mean, yeah. you never know. It, if anything, it could just break the camera you bought to mount it. There's so software updates and firmware updates to this quadcopter cool. that allows for uh, FPV flight that the old quadcopter does not have. So and it runs cool. off the Wi-Fi, so you get the live feed on your smartphone. And you know, we have this is our unboxing, so we haven't done it yet. But apparently, it's password protected, and then you can share your password with your friends, and then they can watch your video right on their smartphone. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Maybe it's like some database or something. We haven't downloaded the app yet, so we'll let you know what we think about it later. We've got a lot of content that we plan to do with the Dromeda Ominous FPV. I'm extremely excited but it's super snowy outside right now there's a foot of snow on the ground as we speak so we're probably not going to get to this uh, for a few days but i'd like to encourage all of you if you're not already subscribed to subscribe to our channel and if not to see the follow-up content on this quadcopter then definitely to stop by and check out our challenge series where you can win free rc vehicles that we give away every single month I didn't have a follow-up comment ready to go. <laughs> okay. What I would like to do is just kind of piece this together, get it charging, and uh, if you want to see a side-by-side, -side, very close comparison, more so than what I've done here for you, from the old Ominous to the new Ominous FPV, let me know in the comments section below. If I get enough feedback, I'll shoot that video for you guys. Oh, and don't forget, you can get this on TowerHobbies.com for $1.90. Nine, $199.98. Yeah. So, it's a very $200. interesting... $200. I'm, I'm going to be critical of this quadcopter because that's an interesting price point. I'll tell you why. The Ominous regular is $80, ready to fly straight to your door. The Proto X FPV, which is a very recent FPV quadcopter that's ready to fly, completely ready to fly with its own camera and display, is $230. So I'm very interested to see where this quadcopter falls on that kind of um, my expectations, I guess, because this is $200 ready to fly, but you need your own smartphone. Or, and if you're like Nate and live in the Stone Age and don't have a cell phone, I don't have a cell not phone. a smartphone. He does not have a smartphone. He just doesn't have a cell phone. I don't own a cell phone. He doesn't own a cell phone. I'm not connected, guys. He does have an iPod. So maybe we'll see if it works on that too. I'm going to test. People with an iPod I've got touch. a tablet. I'm going to test it with a tablet, my iPod. But and he does not iPhone. have a cell phone. Yeah, but the point is, um, <laughs> I, I'm going to be somewhat critical of this because I'm one of the last people in the world <laughs> that doesn't own a cell phone. And for those uh, like two other people out there in the world that may watch this that don't own a cell phone, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I don't. I mean, not everybody has a cell phone, right? So like if you don't have a cell phone, what would you do? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I guarantee you people there'll be like ten people that send me their old cell phones after they watch this. I'm excited. This is an HD camera mm -hmm. uh, and you know, and cell phones display HD videos, so this this is be awesome. It's won my heart and it's just tearing it apart because the the ominous. Don't listen to no, him. I have to say this. The <laughs> ominous is my favorite quadcopter. If I could give it an award, I would of 2014. This just RC everything. Sailor stamps. Yeah, on, but on that. <laughs> uh, the way they're doing the FPV on this one, you have to have cell phone, and and I personally don't own one, so I just want to see what happens. I, I'm. Uh, I think it's gonna be sweet. It's probably gonna be awesome. Because it's and the worth every dime. We love drama. I guarantee drama. you, it will be. We love drama. I, at least I'm fairly confident. As long as everything works and works well and how it should work, I'm pretty sure I will love this quad, and it will good be mine. cop, bad cop. I'm gonna be bad cop on this one. Yeah, these are. Oh, I love the drama <laughs> stuff. I do, and uh, I'm excited. We got to get this thing charged and really just put it to the test and have some fun with it. Yep. I think it. I think it's got the same motors and everything. Anyways, right? we've been. No, we're not reviewing it. We have been trying to end this video now, probably for like five minutes, even after I edit edit this. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> you wanted to say something else, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye! What's wrong? You interrupted our video today. Say so, hi, guys. Say hi, guys. I need a haircut. I'm looking kind of scraggly. Looking kind of scraggly. See you guys. Yeah. You gonna customize that too? I don't know if I can. Yeah, paint it and stuff. Possible. You have to. Okay. That'll look good. That's what it looks like now. Yeah. Ta da! Wah, wah. Pretty! And it's so tiny. <laughs>